So, uh, you know, that that's, you know, I think kind of takes some, some weight off of our shoulders in a way, um, but also knowing that we're going to have to perform at a really high level. We're going to have to to play really well um, in the little details of the of the game um, and and really execute and 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 do well in, in all phases of the game to, to have a chance to beat these guys. So it's a, it's a tremendous opportunity for us uh, that we're all excited for and looking forward to. Um, and, you know, we just got to focus on the process of this week of, of practice um, and and the little, like I said, the little details of, of, of everything. Um, I think that's um, in, in a big game like this versus a very good team, um, the little details of things is what's going to um, make a difference. So uh, just trying to focus on those things and take it day by day and practice this week. What's most different about their defense compared to the last couple of years you've seen them? Um, mm, uh, I would just say you can just tell on, on film that they just play hard and play fast. I'm not saying they did, didn't do that in the past, but you can just tell that there's a, a swagger um, across the board on defense with what they play with. And uh, you put on top of, of that having great, great players that um, – that know the role in the team and play well together, uh, and, it, and it makes them good, you know. So they, uh, you know, up front they have have some seniors in the interior that have had experience and that are really good. Um, you know, their linebacker Kenneth Murray is is the real deal as well. Uh, they in the secondary, I mean, they have they have guys all across the board that are really talented and really good football players. So uh, I think that in general just makes them makes them good, you know. And I think. That they they know that they're really talented and, and gifted to where they don't try to be too complicated in what they do um, and and whatnot. But they they do they're really good at what what they what they do um, and it's going to be a, a big challenge for us uh, you know on offense this week that you know we like I said just gotta really focus on the little details of things. Um, that's really what's going to make the difference in in this game is. Is how well we execute in uh, in, um, in blocking on the perimeter, um, blocking in the in the box, and just everybody owning their role and doing what um, you know their job is, and trusting trusting each other that they're gonna you know trusting each other that we're gonna do do our job. So uh, I think if you you know focus on you know other things of you know outside of your role, then. Uh, that, that's when that's when we'll get into trouble. So, uh, you know, that's all I'm been trying to encourage our team to focus on, including myself. You know, that's I just got to focus on on doing my best and my my job, and um, that's all that we can do. And um, just control the game. And then when we get in the red zone, uh, we got to score touchdowns and not kick field goals. I think that's a big big emphasis for us, and just being good on first and second down because we've kind of struggled in that aspect uh, the last three three Big Twelve games. So. Uh, and that, that's made it hard for us on third downs, being in third and long. We were in third and seven plus, I think, 11 times versus TCU, which is is not good. So, um, which is, just tells us that we're not doing well in first and second down. We got to eliminate um, negative yardage plays um, and sacks and all that kind of stuff that is completely in, in our control. Um, and just be able to to fight back and punch back because you know that you know they're they're really talented and they're they're gonna. Um, they're going to bring it. So we just got to be able to respond and be able to um, respond to that. Was that a game last year as low a point as you've had here at K-State? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, that was a really challenging game just in all aspects. It was kind of – just felt kind of hopeless. And, um, you know, just our whole team, um, you could just sense that people were – you know, it was the second quarter and people were already wanting the game to be over. Um, but uh, there's a lot of different, you know, factors playing into that. But definitely was a tough one uh, last year, and um, they beat us pretty good, obviously. So, uh, you know, it's this is going to be a great opportunity for us to, to bounce back from that and respond and, and show that we're capable of playing versus a really good team. You spread the ball around quite a bit to different receivers on Saturday. What's your confidence level on the receiver core, the receiver unit yeah. as a whole? Um, I have a lot of confidence in those guys. Have they've, they've been getting better um, every week? Um, I think we all have in in different ways. Um, but you know the, the the key is for you know for me and for them is like I said we just got to focus on doing our job. I got to focus on you know what what I can control um, and just I got all the belief in the world in those guys that they're gonna get open and 
and and do their job you know and that's that's what it comes down to is having that trust in one another and um and believing in one another and just uh for me just putting the ball where i need to put it and controlling those things and that's all i can do um and then you know like i said i have all the belief in and trust in those guys that they're going to make plays whenever i give them the ball so it's just a, a constant of of trying to improve each and every week and getting better and building more and more continuity um, you know, I feel like um, Josh Youngblood uh, has, has came a long ways. You know, he's getting better every week. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, at the beginning of the season, we're, we're teaching him, you know, just making sure he knows what route where, what route he's running, you know, or all, all those types of things. And now that he understands those types of things, it's more we're getting to the, you know, second, third level stuff of, you know, what kind of release you want to get, what coverage we're going to get, how you want to run that route versus a certain coverage, um, understanding the bigger picture of things behind just the route. So, um you know, I think our whole receiving core as a whole um, is getting better at that. And then throwing Malik in there as well, um, having having a deep threat with him. And, um, you know, uh, he just stretches the field and, and whatnot, which is really good for our football team and allows, you know, Sean to, to kind of play off of that and, um, you know, execute is in, in his strengths as well. So it's just going to be important for us as a whole um, receiving core and myself to just play, play for one another, play together, and just have trust um, in each other. How many points do you think it'll take to win a game like this? Um, you know, that's that's hard to say. I think the the, the best thing. I mean, we just we got to score, um, just like in any game. We got to score touchdowns and be efficient, um, and put drives together. I think, uh, you know, that, that's going to be be huge for us. I mean, obviously, we're well aware of um, their offense and how you know they're a highly powered offense and. Um, and are, have really great players and play well together. And um, Jalen Hurts does a great job of leading those guys and controlling all of that. So um, all we can do is just focus on you know the offensive side of, of doing our job and putting points on the board. And you know, I mean, like I said, going back to just having trust and belief in in our defense that they're going to make plays and and put us in great situations. Coach uh, singled out uh, to the Jonathan Durham. I know he's. When he roommates how, how nice was it to see him to come in with Jerome and her yeah, in the, in yeah, the big well, game. Um, that was uh, that was that was you know great. Um, I thought it gave me an opportunity to to recognize JD in front of the whole team. Um, you know I think um, for JD, uh, you know he's been in the program. You know he's a fifth year senior. He's been here and um, sacrificed a lot of his uh, his time and, and life into the this team and this game so you know to see him get in there and especially against his hometown team i know he uh he he wanted to, to play and play well against those guys um and you know i thought he did a great job of that and it gave me an opportunity to, to recognize him in front of the team and our whole team uh was was really excited for that and behind jd the whole way you and jalen hurts both had to learn completely new systems this year how many hours would you guess as a quarterback it takes to to learn a system and get comfortable with it how many hours of work Oh man, probably way more than I could even put yeah. together or count. I mean, it's just it's a constant, you know, learning process. I think that's the the thing is you can always learn more and expand more on what you already know. Um, you know, I'm still learning yeah. uh, more about our our uh, system and um, how to how to execute it on a week to week basis, depending on what team we're playing and schematically what we're doing um, and trying to execute with. So. Uh, it definitely takes a lot of a lot of time. Um, I can only imagine. You know, probably he's was in the same. You know, obviously in the right. same boat. Um, you learn to hold the system in the spring and and whatnot. So you know, I think for for any quarterback in, in a new system, it, it takes a lot of a lot of time and a lot of rep repetition and um, you know just uh, you know taking time to to further. You know, learn and expand on what you already know is kind of what I touched on earlier. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's definitely it's a challenge. It's a challenge, and it's it's uh, it can be can be difficult. But at the same time, I think is is a good is a good thing for for you know for myself in the long run. As I'm probably you know for sure that he would say the same thing. Is the more you can learn, the more uh, you know verbiage and language and all that kind of stuff schematically that you can learn and um, expand your football IQ on is going to make you better in the long run. So, uh, yeah, that's what I would say.
Like it just seems like, quote unquote, the, the weakness of Oklahoma recently has been their defense, but like their numbers are a lot better than they've been in a long time. For you, what maybe stands out? What makes them look different than what you've seen the past couple of years? On film? Um, I would just say that they, that, I mean, they're just, they play fast. They play fast. They fly to the ball. They swarm to the ball. Um, they play hard. Um, they have athletes all the way across the board um, and play with a lot of confidence. I think that's the, the big thing is, uh, you know, their new D coordinator. Um, had them dialed in on their schemes and what their uh, what their overall goal is as a as a unit, and I think they they understand that and know that really well to where they can execute um, and whatnot. And I think they just uh, as a team just they know. I mean, they're they're a highly powered offense, and um, that they that they're going to put points on the board, and you know they're they're going to play with confidence, knowing that. So, uh, and you know they're they're definitely they're a good football team and. Have a lot of experience, you know. I think the the guy that sticks out to me the most is their their middle linebacker, um, Kenneth Murray. I mean, he's he's a great great player, and you know, I played against him last year, and he's he played. I mean, he's been there for three years, started as a true freshman, so um, he's just gotten better um, every year, and um, you know, he just he sticks out to me on film um, the most out of everybody. But they all play a lot of a lot of swagger and confidence, and you know, we're just gonna have to be able to match that and, and not not back down to those types of things and um you know be able to be able to fight back you know because they're they're gonna make plays they're gonna make plays they're gonna um you know do things and and whatnot that are that are gonna be good for them but we have to be able to get back up and respond and and um you know not back down from that and just control the things we can control like i said the little details of things of of executing our blocks executing you know our, our uh you know, our, our, our backs hitting the, the hole at the right time and um, executing the plays to the best of our ability as, as a whole unit in general. So that's going to be, be big for us because even, I mean, we, through the win um, of TCU, there's still a lot that we left out on the field and um, we didn't play our best game and we still came out with a win, which is very encouraging for us because we know that we, we can get better and there's a lot of things that we can improve at. So that's a, an upside for us and we just got to be able to put that all Excuse me, put that all together this weekend.